Hey, Glenn here from Mehab, the world's leading physical therapy alternative, where we educate and empower you to take control of your recovery. Today, we're going to share 10 things that you can do today to decrease your sciatica and back pain. Make sure you stay to the end for our extra bonus tip about sleeping. As always, this video is for education and demonstration purposes only. With that out of the way, let's get into it. Our first tip is whenever you sit, sit with some support in your lower back. Without support, our spine tends to flex. Let me clarify that flexing or bending is not inherently bad. In fact, it's a vital function of our spine. However, many people do well to avoid flexion postures or bending initially. We recommend placing a roll of paper towels right in the curve of your lower back, but you can use a rolled up jacket or a towel, whatever you've got. It's to remind you to sit with a curve in your lower back. Sit all the way to the back of the chair, place the support in your low back, and sit tall with your chest up. Tip two is to stay off the sofa or recliner. Sit in a hard back chair. While sitting on a sofa or recliner or sitting up in bed may feel good initially, often people get stuck and have severe pain trying to get up out of that position. Because they are so soft, they offer little support and place the back in a flex position. Sitting in a hard back chair with a lumbar support is a much better option, especially early on. Tip three is that it's important to stand and walk for brief periods of time. Standing and walking can be beneficial for short durations. The key is to not overdo it. Prolonged walking or standing can provoke symptoms. Every person's length of tolerance will be slightly different, so play around with how long you can stand or walk without provoking your symptoms. As soon as symptoms begin to increase, do one of the other positions we mentioned in this video. Tip four is that sometimes gravity is not our friend. Take breaks from gravity, sitting, standing, and walking are all weight-bearing positions, and some people do not respond well to it. Try laying on your stomach on the bed. Initially, it can be a good idea to stack pillows under your stomach and lay over those. This decreases the level of back bend or extension. Find what position you can tolerate and makes your symptoms decrease. A word of warning, do not lay in this position for more than a couple of minutes. Laying in this position too long can make it very difficult and painful to get up. Tip number five is to try and do press ups before getting out of bed in the morning. If you have a lot of pain getting out of bed in the morning and symptoms get better after walking around for a bit, you should definitely try these exercises before getting out of bed. Make your way onto your stomach and do press ups. They're not going to be perfect and the first few can be hard, but see how you do. Do one to three sets of 10. See if it decreases that transition from laying to standing in the morning. Tip number six is don't put pants, socks, or shoes on in the first 60 minutes of getting up. Limiting significant flexion or bending in the morning is generally a good idea for people with acute sciatica and disc issues. If you absolutely have to do any of these things as soon as you get up, lay on your back on the bed to do it or get someone to do it for you. Tip seven is another sitting option from tip number one. Sitting all the way back and trying to sit up requires a lot of effort. This makes it more difficult to maintain. If you sit near the edge of a chair and keep your knees below your hips, gravity will naturally pull you into that position. It is much easier to do and maintain. Tip number eight is to limit long trips in the car. Car seats are not the greatest, especially bucket seats. Keep trips short, or if you have to take a long trip, make frequent stops to get up out of the car and walk around for a few minutes. Also, make sure that your seat back is reclined to about 100 to 110 degrees. This stacks the spine and helps distribute stress over a greater area. If you can, lower the front of your seat and raise the back to help get your knees even or below your hips. This is for the same reasons in tip number seven. Crank up your lumbar support and or put that lumbar roll in your lower back. Tip number nine is to wait to brush your teeth in the morning. Standing flexion or bending is often not tolerated, especially in the morning. If you just can't survive not brushing your teeth immediately after getting up, stand up to brush your teeth. Don't bend over the sink. When you do bend over the sink, place your other hand on the sink to take some of the weight and strain out of your back. And don't hang out there for very long. Stay bent only as long as you must. Tip number 10, stay out of the bath or the jacuzzi. While lying in a nice hot tub of water can feel great, the position is not the greatest. People can get stuck in the tub unable to get up due to pain. 
you can get the same good feelings from having a hot shower instead, without the problem of potentially getting stuck. A word of caution however, be very careful or hold off on trying to reach below your knees. Okay, as promised, here is our bonus tip regarding sleeping. Often people will be told to change how they sleep in hopes of decreasing the symptoms, but here's the biggest secret. It is most likely your activities throughout your day that result in your pain levels at night. If you want to fix your symptoms with sleeping, you have to control your symptoms throughout the day. This means keeping them as low as possible or completely gone and avoiding aggravating positions or activities. If you can keep your symptoms away or low during the day, you will sleep much, much better. Okay, so there's our 10 things that you can do today that can significantly help decrease your symptoms. Give them a try for a couple of days and let us know your thoughts in the comments. If you like our videos, please hit subscribe so we know that we're on the right track with giving you the information that you want. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you on the next one.